But hey guys, Abomination9 here, back playing some more Animal Crossing New Horizons. Uh, we left off, I think we just went through the normal routine of what we do every single day. Uh, I didn't play too much last night. And, oh yeah, I forgot, in the last stream, Streamlabs cut off abruptly, so uh, the last video just ends out of nowhere, but I pretty much just stopped playing after that, so... Since the stream quit. Hello there, everyone. Right now in San Limon, it's 425 on Tuesday, March 31st, 2020. Now for today's announcements. The most wonderful thing happened to San Limon today. The Able Sisters Tailoring Shop opened. The tailor shop will have all the fashion items you'd expect, as well as a custom design gallery. This is a great chance for everyone to enjoy new styles and maybe start our own San Lamon trends. And of course, we'll be holding a special ceremony to celebrate the happy news. If you're interested in participating and have the time, please check in with Tom Nook at Resident Services. That's all for today. Have a fun day out there. Okay, we got miles apparently. Was it how many days we've been here, maybe? No, because we upgraded our house again. So I'm assuming there's one more upgrade and it's the basement. Since, uh. I mean, there's only one more thing here, so it must be we get a basement and that's end, the end of it. We never have to pay Tom off again. Why do I have so much stuff? What is in my inventory right now? I think I maxed out. Yeah, I maxed out. Oh, the money thing's right here. Uh, we don't have any money because, as usual, I've emptied my in whole uh, inventory. I don't have room! Uh, place item. I was going to help you out with one of the more useful reactions today, but, uh... I'm kind of stumped. Sorry about that. Hang on. Did you know uh, how to do apologetic? Wow, that was lucky. Sorry, I didn't teach you sooner. I learned the apologetic, apologetic reaction. Sorry, I didn't know about this before. So it's, I think it's just the one nod. Yeah, just about. I wish they made you like do the full uh, bow. Also, Muffy just loves singing. That she's like constantly doing it. They have a, like full like face to floor bow. Okay, so they're only like slightly off, and I guess that's okay. It's not too big a deal that they're not uh, aligned correctly. Wait, I didn't do that much, uh, selling. Or, I didn't do that much gathering last night. So I'm not gonna get that much money, but I think we have, what? 200,900 or something in the bank? At 209,000, I think. I'm sick of seeing this thing. Like, it's not even that special of an item. So that I'm not gonna grab, because I just literally don't care about this. Uh, I guess we'll take both of these, though. This golden kettle. And that appears to be a drink dispenser. Of some sorts. A handy water cooler. And what you got back here? Uh, 
If this was like red and black, I'd probably grab that, but red and yellow, I'm not really feeling that. Uh, there shouldn't be anything on Mint again. Okay, what we got? Ooh. Probably gonna have to get that. Is this just like a plain white floor? Yeah, it's just plain white flooring. I don't think I care about the other ones, but I do want this. Modern uh, Soji screen. Uh, I might buy a second one just to have it. Also, even though this is like way too bright during the day, let's just turn it on anyways. Now we're gonna go ahead and dump off these uh, items. So we probably should grab the stuff in our mail as well. Probably should have done that before I went inside, but. That's fine, so. Cuckoo clock. Kettle. Water cooler than the Soji wallpaper. Okay, so I'll start from the bottom. Lemonetta, congratulations to celebrate the new addition to your home. Please accept this gift of some furniture. Best of luck as you set out on new kitchen adventures. Uh, esteemed Lemonetta, we wish to express our gratitude for your continued use of the Nook Stop and Nook Mileage program. The item you claimed via our redemption service is attached to this. Thank you. Okay, so that's just uh, redeeming things. I thought that was something else. Uh, and this is same thing. I brought more uh, skull prints as well. And what has Muffy given us? Nice, Lemonetta. Your place seriously has a lot of um place. Way to go! What are you? Uh, what are you gonna do with all that room? How about an indoor motorcycle track? I bet the stairs would be uh, make a wicked ramp. What do you think? Revved up and ready, Muffy. Probably should have saved that, but. So I'm still holding on to Tammy's. So I haven't gone upstairs, so let's go ahead and do that. Oh wow, it's another big room. It's actually a rectangular room. Weird. So we can put that in storage. A coffee grinder. I don't really care about coffee. Snack. Oh, these are the machines I bought. All right, th these go out by um the shops. Simple panels. And I'm assuming this was. What is this? Microwave. Microwave. Okay. I don't really have a kitchen, so we're gonna have to do that later. What, uh, what kind of walls do I have right now? We can try this one, actually. So it appears that the uh, daytime comes through these, like their windows. So this is with the lights off, so it's still kind of right in here. That's fine, I guess. No big deal. I'm kind of tempted just to pay Tom off just so we can finally finish renovating our entire home. Even though that's going to take like centuries to do. Because he wants a million now. He probably wants two million. 
to get the basement installed. Okay, I'm gonna see if we only if we want one one or two of these. So we could fit another one, so I think I was correct on my initial judgment of grabbing another one to put there. Though maybe we actually can't fit through that gap if I do that. Also, what is it else is it saying that I can modify? What is that item? The drink machine? Oh, you can change the, uh... Oh, you can actually ch customize what's in the, on the front. Ooh. Let's actually see what that looks like. Of course, uh, that doesn't make sense. We can make like a thing for this maybe later at some point. I feel like we maybe we want to put that on there, but like you can't really see what's going on. It doesn't take the entire square. I don't like how this isn't black, like it's only gray on the machine. This is okay. I think having this on the front is fine, and I think I want it to be yellow, so let's go with that. I don't know how many that actually used. Whoops. Why can't we do that to the... Uh snack as well. Yeah, we can't. We only have four customization kits left. That's a problem. Simple panel, we need to put that down. I'm just gonna put it down in front of me. So now it's like, can we even fit in this, through this little opening here is the question that I'm worried about. Cause it does look kind of tight. Okay, you can scooch in and it applies the scooch animation. So that, okay, that's fine then. Uh, put that in storage, and these machines go outside. I think I wanted them to go here, but this, uh, like, isn't straight. I wouldn't want it to be flush with the sign, maybe, like, right here, but maybe we could just put them here for now. Well, that is a big machine. I feel like I want them to be, like, over here, but now we can't actually get them in there. Like, against the... Well, I guess maybe we wouldn't want that since... Realistically, it could have the chance of falling into the uh, waterfall, perhaps, so... I just want to scooch this over a bit so we can actually... Can we fit here? Yeah. That's all I wanted. Can you actually interact with these?
So it just makes a noise, but it doesn't actually give you anything. Yeah, it actually... Wait. It gave us two items. Okay, it seems to be those same two. Like, let me actually buy, like... God, like, some of, like, the interactions in the game are, like, so disappointing. They could have done, like... Added so little. They have, they've added so many like small touches that are like really nice. But then there's some things they just don't. They don't feel like going the extra mile. I just wish they went with the extra mile with everything. Like actually be able to put bells into this machine and get like an actual snack that you can eat that counts as one food thing or whatever. And same thing with this drinks or whatever. Maybe the drinks make you faster for a short amount of time or something. I don't know. Like, just add little extra touches, please. Okay, do we have enough inventory for this? I don't think we do. Enough room for one more stack. We made about 60,000, right? So we spent a decent amount of money uh, before this, so. It's not too bad, because, like, I really did not grind. Like, I think most of the grinding I did on camera last night. Because I actually played long enough to show that the stink bugs were starting to spawn, so I started grabbing them. This is 6,000, so we had like well over 60,000. Okay, so let's actually go ahead and look over here. Okay, so this did sprout. You can move money trees after they've started growing. Uh, I think I'm gonna move this, so... We're gonna move it over to our spooky forest. Uh, this one's still growing. Uh, but here is where we needed to go ahead and grab 10k. Which then I'm gonna actually probably. Uh, do I wanna get rid of this? I, I guess I could stay there, it's no big deal. For now, at least. If, we, if I need to move it, I can move it later.
great. There we go. So yeah, it's just a normal tree now. I think again I think I'm gonna get one of get rid of one of these trees like this one here. I just have like some sort of weird nonsense going on in the middle there, but then the rest of this should still stay as dense as it is. Oh, a rock spawned over here. It's up against the wall too. Uh, if we can maybe make ourselves slip to this side here, it should be fine. just clay anyways. This shovel like refuses to break. Like is it gonna break once we finish this or what? It's still going. At least I think it refuses to break, I don't know. Maybe it has and I've just forgotten. Oh wait, there's a uh, beaver up there. He hasn't been here before. Oh wait, this doesn't belong here. What am I doing? I don't want this here. Since we're over here, let me just do that. Or right, come over here and uh, grab this rock. I guess I'm grabbing this as well. Alright, so is today a money rock scenario or... Nope. Gold nugget though. That was lucky. So as usual, like I'm trying to walk carefully here so that I don't kick up the drawing on the ground. And now we can go talk to this dude. We go ahead and dig this up while we're here. I kind of don't want to do anything crazy right now. This is something he's like. You start some sort of mini game. What up, fashionista? CJ here, coming at you live from uh, right in front of you. I'm touring the islands looking for fresh faces and fresher fish to show off on my live stream. Fishing is reeling in all kinds of streaming numbers right now. Heard of esports? Well, this is C Sports. Anyway, I need new fish if you want to keep my followers following. That's where you come in. If you got fish to sell, then I want to buy it. Simple as that. I'll even pay premium. So you cash out, I got, I get new selfies for my vlog. And my reviewers get to hear me talk fish. Everyone wins. So how about a challenge? She's uh, sports style. Right now, win and I'll make it ring and talk, to you, talk you up on my stream. Plus my partner's into making slick collectibles if you want. Here's, uh, he's so talented. Uh, not now. Until 5 a.m. or so tomorrow. Okay, that's fine. I can do that later. I don't want to do that right now. So we have, what, two fossils? Yeah. We still need two more, and this one would be the third right now, so we only need one more. Ok, 
Okay, it's just a normal rock, so... Isn't there still two rocks on this island? This could be either one of those. Also, this rock doesn't belong here either, so we need to destroy it. area up here to make sure that we've gotten everything okay yeah nothing here we can go ahead and grab this rock Here it is, the money rock. Nice. Will this put us over 100? I don't think so. Maybe? Yeah, not quite. Still looking for that last fossil, so so about to have another run around the island. Might be in the orchard. Oh yeah, the message in the bottle is down there. Okay, almost forgot about that. I would have eventually canvassed the beach anyway, so it's fine. Where the heck is this last fossil? It must be over by the orchard, because like, there's no reason to not have seen it yet. There's still one more rock we have to grab as well. I forgot to grab these two flowers and put them down uh, elsewhere. Okay, still have not found this last fossil spot. This one must be down there. Whoever finds this, our weather was so nice out today that I went for a long walk. On my, uh, on my walk, I thought up this DIY recipe. This seemed like a good way of passing along my recipe idea. Try it if you have the materials. Bay, handicrafts lover. And it is a wooden toolbox that I already have, so we're gonna have to sell that. I've gotten that twice now out of a message in a bottle. I would much appreciate it if you'd stop repeating on me, please. Ooh, was that a... no, it's just a butterfly. Okay, so that fossil has to be down here somewhere. this last fossil. Okay, balloons here, at least. It's almost about to leave.
Yeah, it's a blue one, so... Makes sense. Okay, we collected all the fossils. Let's go ahead and grab all the fruit here. I think I'm actually going to grab this guy as well. Oh, yeah, I haven't checked to see what the uh, item of the day is either. Hot item of the day. I've also gotten screwed over twice uh, on Sunday because the first Sunday, uh, Daisy May didn't show up, and the last Sunday, Mabel was occupying the resident services area, so it would, I'm assuming that denied Daisy May a spawn location, so. It's two Sundays in a row that Daisy May has refused to spawn to sell me turnips. Okay, we've cleared the orchard out. Now we can up up here. And there was a tiger beetle that I hope is still over here. But I actually see something else. Wait. We have room for two things. A tiger beetle and then this orchid mantis. Tiger Beetle's gone. That's fine. I guess we can see if we can grab this honeybee. So, we're gonna sell these fruits, the gold nug, uh, wooden toolbox recipe, we're gonna get a coral. Sell everything. I might keep the cherries just cause, well, until we figure out what the item of the day is today. Then I'll, uh, think about it. But then I'll sell them if it's not cherry related. Okay, cool, that puts over a hundred thousand. What is hot? Drinking fountain, you're out of your mind. I think that's stone and iron. How much stone is that? Is it? It might only be two stone and a few iron. Oh, it's a new hour, it's five o'clock. Okay, 
Let's go put these. We can. We need to look at what uh, the stone fountains are made out of. Maybe we just grabbed a bunch of stone and iron, but we didn't even top off on stones and irons after mining all those things. Uh, let's go here. So stone fountain, which I'm pretty sure I literally bought yesterday. Wait, was it drinking fountain or the stone? Or it was. It must have been the drinking fountain because there's there's two words. The two iron nuggets, but eight stones. And I assume this sells for a lot. So doubling this, like an extra uh, seven. Well, it's double whatever this sells for normally, but. It's just the materials themselves, I think it's 700% the uh, material cost. So let's go ahead and make one. And see. Okay, grab these four. Okay, three of them, so that means we can sell another one. Right, so... I've already remember, forgot what I... Oh, we need to make the... Oh, there's cherries here. We need to make the fountain. And sell it to... Uh, you boys. Say, stink bug, get out of here. Wasting of a bug slot. Grab a bunch of stuff while I'm over here on my way. Keep making a little bit of extra cash. So please tell me this sells for like $10,000 or something stupid. Okay, so you have to spend miles to get the recipe to even make this drinking fountain. So I'm hoping that's taken into consideration. Only 5,000. Depends on how many stones I have, is whether or not I'll make a bunch of these, because I do have a bunch of stones, but we're going to hemorrhage stones by doing that.
Well, I actually ran away. We don't actually have that many stacks of stones. So I'll maybe grab two stacks of stones and the stack of iron. And we need to keep these two on us though. Now we can sit here and just craft these for the next 10 hours. I can actually make more than 10 of these. Which means we can make at least 50 grand. Assuming I have more than 10 slots on me, then I can make even more than that. Right, so you might as well, if you're watching this in uh, just video form, you're probably, probably better off just skipping past this part. Since we're going to be here for a while, pressing A over and over again. Hold on, let me do something real quick. Because we're going to be here all day, might as well do this. Turn the radio on. So there's actually some noise back here. You can barely even hear it, so it didn't really do that much. We're actually running low on iron nugs, which is weird. Assuming that it lets us. Yeah, we have enough room for it. Nice. Okay, let's go ahead and turn this radio off. Okay, so we have. 10, 13 of them on us, which ain't bad. I guess I should probably I'll get rid of this. I guess we can take a picture of it and then throw it away. Probably should have been doing that from the get-go. So this should be uh, 50, 60, 65, a little over 65, or oh, 70, yeah, so all the extra added up to another 5,000. Cool, so we made it out with an extra, we made it up to 200,000 even though we didn't do that much grinding. We did do a bunch of grinding, we maybe could have hit 40, 400,000 today. In extra cash.
Don't talk to me, Tom. Oh my god, of course. Well, hello there, Lemonada. Your home has two beautiful stores now. Hope you'll take this opportunity to experiment with some new styles of interior designs, which brings us blah blah. I don't care, Tom. Get it in my face. I don't care. As part of the home customization service available to you, you can now order replacement siding. Thank you. Roof, siding, door, and mailbox change. Uh, changing these can make you feel like your home is brand new. Speaking of your mailbox, not only can you can change its design, but now you can change its location. Just pick up your mailbox with Y and place it where you like. I'll make sure to mail... Uh, the mail knows where to go. Okay. Please give your new customizations options a try. I look forward to seeing what you come up with. As always, I've been ever so been ever so nice doing business with you. I didn't even would it, haven't even assume, assumed that that was an option. Uh, let's see. I just want to dump in this uh, two hundred. So there we go. We have. 400 something. Actually, I'm gonna withdraw that 3000 because it's gonna annoy me if I leave it in there. So we have 400,000 on our way to 1,248. Which we could just end up spending that on remodeling our village. Uh, I would like to. Yes, I want to customize. Okay, the door is fine, the roof is fine, but we can actually... Oh, we have different roofs. I didn't realize. Uh, black thatch. Uh, I don't know if I like that. What was the original? This one was the original. And what is this? Uh, blacked curved shingles. I don't know if I like the coloring there. This is black stone. See, that's just brown, and I hate that. This actually at least is gray slash. It kind of has like a greenish tone to it, but that's fine. See, that's green. That's black. Black is always brown. I don't understand why. We might go with that. Okay, so yeah, we can finally change this, which is what I've been wanting forever. Yellow common exterior. Black. Ooh. Uh, let's see. I don't like the yellow. What is the difference between this and this? Is it slightly less detailed? Or less things going on? Like it's, oh, there is black. So this is like too black on black on black. Unfortunately, I mean we could go ahead and do this, but it seems like it's too smooth. Like so, I don't really like that. Why is there not like a, a black one on that? Give me a black one there. Well, I guess this would be black. I really like how red that is. That is kind of nice. Is there like a black red in the extra frames? It'll look like it. And then this is the base house here. The pink one's not too bad. The yellow is kind of nice, but it doesn't really match our aesthetic currently. So we're probably going to go with that or this. See, this one's less busy. This one might be too busy. I think I actually agree with that statement. That's too busy, so it's either going to be that or... Like, this one's kind of okay. Like, I do kind of like this crimson on black. Which, I mean, is what we've been going for. Our outfit is black and red, so it might not actually be that bad to just go with that over the... This one. I think I will just go with this. And then the mailbox doesn't need to be changed, but we can have a look around, but yeah, it's fine as it is. So I think we're going with that. 
Then the curtains, of course. We'll close them, I think. Close them again. Uh, yeah, I think that is good. I think we're going to do that. Alright, cool. Let us move on to... Maybe go to the Able Scissors? I'm not sure. Okay, we have an excess of clay. Muffy out here refusing to stop singing. I mean, that's pretty much all she's ever doing usually, is singing. The same song over and over again. I'll let this butterfly go. I wanted to capture it, but I chose not to. Also, we need to do the ceremony, which I forgot. Alright, so first time we're going into the Able Sisters place. Hey there, welcome to Able Sisters, where we sell fashions made lovingly by Claw. Oh hey, it's the great spot finder, Lemonetta. Thanks for picking this fantastic location for us. We decided to put down roots here on San Limon and keep selling our clothes and accessories. Here, let me give you a quick tour of our shop. Okay, so, when you first walk in, you'll find our recommended items right there, front and center. We change these up every single day, you know, to keep things fresh. Then, over on the left, you'll find our mannequins. They're dressed up in whatever seasonal outfits we're into. We change them up from time to time rather than daily. Still, we hope you'll be inspired. And of course, if you see something on the mannequins you love, you are more than welcome to buy it. Which brings us to the back wall. Here, you'll find custom designs brought in by our customers. We'd love to display your designs, of course, and if you want any of these designs, they're yours for free. Speaking of custom designs, next to the wall displays you'll find our custom designer portal. You can use this kiosk to order designs from creators all over the world and even share your own. Hello! And the last thing I want to tell you about is the fitting room. It's on the right side of the shop in the back. This is where you can go to try on anything that's available for sale that day, including all the color variations. Our display space is limited, so fitting room, so the fitting room is also the place to check out items we couldn't put out. Yeah, the fitting room is really great, and it's a terrific way to see how our, an outfit is coming together. I think that's everything. Well, I guess I get kind of chatty when I'm talking about the shop. We're open every day from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. So you close before uh, Timmy's Nook's Cranny. I'll be seeing you in here lots. Ooh. Why is this like the first thing that shows up? Hey, what's up? Just learned. I don't know if you were here for that. But this machine here connects you to designs that people have made. So I guess it's a cool online thing. But hello, this outfit. Mohawk wig. Oh, so that's a wig. Pleather mask, we're obviously going to be grabbing. Skull tee, that's pretty cool. Uh, the punk pants, the boots. Uh, 
Honestly, everything but the mohawk. Okay, that's 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 no problem. I mean, we're, we're running low because we put all our money in the bank, but... Give me the tea as well. Uh, the punk pants and the boots, I guess. We kind of want that too, just because... We need something to match all our clothes. We're currently reading, wearing these red sneaks, which only match our red outfit. Alright, now let's use this kiosk. Okay, let's hope for not nothing too weird. Targeted ads confirmed. How else? Uh, a masked punky. Yeah, I don't. I don't. I don't understand how like. Literally, this is the first time I've been in this. They just opened up, and the first thing that they have on the right is this punk, like mask punk stuff. So yeah, clearly. Oh, and I said there you needed a online uh, subscription to even access this, of course. I hope there isn't any too weird, too too much weird stuff here. Uh, search for creator. So you have to actually search for design ID. Because I'm using an ID or search for a creator ID. Okay, so you actually have to know somebody to do. Okay, so I thought this was going to be where they just have stuff shown here. So you actually, actually have to look someone up. Okay, so that's actually not as cool. But I mean, people are posting this stuff on Twitter, I think, so. I was really hoping this would just be like a selection of stuff, but. It makes sense, they want to make sure you don't see anything you don't want to see. So this, we need to throw our stuff up here. They said we could put our stuff up here, so I just I don't know how to do that. Let's talk to Abel here, or Sable. Okay, so she's going to be doing that all the time. Abel, I want to put stuff on the wall. Like she said, we could put stuff up there, so I don't know how we're supposed to be doing that. Someone, Tulip Shop, someone from Anisol designed it? Okay, so I think these ones on the, everything up here is from other players in the world. But if you want to use a kiosk, you have to actually know their name. Everything up here is just randomly selected from someone's village, I think, or island, I think. I want to display my stuff here. I think villagers will actually wear your stuff if you put it up here. Actually, if I want to be throwing my stuff up here, I'm... oh wait, no, I didn't want. I didn't see what she said. Like, I wanted to actually change the name of that because I just have them named labeled like black dress one two three four etc. Uh, I don't even know what they refer this refer to this as. Uh, maybe just like uh, this. I don't know. Let's just say let's just call it a punk dress. Who cares? So I'm going to assume that we have to replace this, like, the name to change. Yeah, it still has the same dumb name. Uh, 
Oh, I said I don't need it, so whoops. Cool. I guess I have to do that now for like 10 hours, changing the names of all this stuff. And then move on to the yellow. I don't even remember what I named it. It was just a uh, punk dress. Then this would be yellow, but I don't know if we can even fit that. That's probably like the max limit on letters. Uh, was this the blue one? Yes, it was. Okay, Jesus. Like, if I would've... I didn't want to have to do that again. Okay, and... I didn't realize it had uh, a purple one, too. There's not enough room up there for that. Let's forget the green one, then. I, I kind of want to do the purple one. Okay, let's go ahead and put it here. Harsh, this is all stuff from this person's place. on the screen thing. Geometry shirt, is that what that said? Oh, I forgot the yellow one, whoops. Oh, any aisle. Oh, okay, yeah, that makes sense then. I'm just gonna leave the stuff up top of there, just assuming that stuff will change to random designs, I guess the game made. So I'm, I'm gonna buy this like dress too, just for the. Wait, actually, is there's a skirt here? This like weird-looking skirt, embroidered floral skirt. I'll just grab that anyways. Oof! What? Oops! Five thousand dollars for this dress, Jesus. So let's get the stuff we have. So we have pleather mask. Okay, cool. Uh, skull tee, which we're probably not gonna wear in punk pants. Just gonna let's leave that for now. Uh, work boots. The boots are fine. I think what we have right now. All right, cool. So what else is in here? Let me in.
Okay. Also, there's like a... There's different colors on this. So you have the black one, but they have the purple and this uh, beige. Do these raincoats, which if they had this in black, these trenches in black, I would take one. I might actually just take a, the red one. Washed out jeans. Uh, the punk pants in different colors. I kind of like the purple set. Like, I might grab purple. Uh, gothic headdress. If they had like a black one up there, I maybe would have grabbed that. Was this a stupid bippy thing? It's not bubblegum, this is basically a bippy. Stupid shade glasses. Uh... Ooh, some nice shoes. Moccasins, really? Work boots. Ooh, the white ones. Okay, so we're gonna have to come back to this because I need to buy a few some of these things. See, so I might give these one of these a try. I wish I could. I guess I can just click on it so I can see. Yeah. See, so I don't like that. Black on that's okay. It makes me look weird though. It's doing something to my face that I don't like. I was hiding my eyebrows. That's why I don't like it. Because now I don't look the same anymore. Ooh, but this one has like the red thing on the top. I might just grab that just because it's red and black. Even though I hate the fact that it hides my eyebrows. Alright, we're gonna have to come back. We need some money first. Which we do not have a way to actually get any money right now, I don't think. We could make more fountains and sell them to, to me, but I don't think I want to do that. I need to keep the... Eh, we can put that away, I guess. Skull tea, put that away. Okay. Hey. There's a bunch more clothes in the dressing room, and now I'm like, I need to make money, because I don't want to break into uh, my actual bank. So we have like 400,000, I think, in the bank right now. Tom's current uh, loan is 1,200,000 and something. So, don't really want to be using any of that money. But CJ, which you, you didn't see CJ, he is a streamer. Uh, who's into sea sports, I think is what he called it, which is fishing. Like, because he said, have you heard of esports? And then he was like, well, I'm into sea sports or something. Like, a, some corny, like, nonsense. But like, he's like an influencer streamer, dude. So, I need to go get some bait. So I think there's going to be a fishing competition, and uh, I want to be prepared to see how much money we can make off of this. I need to talk to everyone. Wait, what is she wearing? Oh man, she's all blacked out today. She's also doing aerobics, I think, in front of her house. You're full black today. How many times am I going to bump into you today? She always says, like, stuff like that. Yeah, CJ's around if you want to offload some fish, just... Follow your nose, that fish smell really carries. Yeah, I mean, I was just talking about CJ, so. Okay, where are these clams? I don't know if you can just catch fish beforehand and then give them to him, I'm not sure. Actually, I think we still need to talk to another person. I swear we had a talk to people mission. Oh, I just still need to talk to one more person. Joey.
Okay, cut a tree down is the next thing. Okay, there's nothing here. Like, I don't know how much farming I want to do here. I probably should just have bait lying around, honestly. Wait, I just heard one. I think I'm gonna grab, like, yeah, grab a fish before we even start. See if we can cheat. Even though this is just a medium sized fish. Okay, here we go. This is what I was looking for. So we're looking for big money, no whammies as per usual. And for me to not mess up. You know, this is just a sea bass, probably. Yeah, everybody's catching sea bass. Literally the most common freaking fish. Freaking sea bass. At least with, for the uh, large size stuff. But I mean, at least we got something there. Maybe he'll be impressed by that. Oh my god, can you not? I wish there was a uh, arm accessories, but I don't think there is, or at least I haven't seen them. If they were going to be in any place, it would have been in the Mabel's shop, the Able Sisters. really have enough of that. Okay, now we can sit here for four rounds of bait. a balloon, but I'm not sure. Yeah, I think I definitely do. Oh, it's, you can see the shadow, actually. Oh, I think it's, like, it's already too late. Please don't fall into water and get banished to the Shadow Realm. Outdoor air conditioner. I got one of these yesterday. Night, I think. So it's nothing special. Alright, so I guess we're just gonna go talk to CJ completely unprepared. But before that, this guy's worth $4,000, so... just thought about selling the fish and I just had to remember like no we need those
But I think CJ was up on the cliff here. Somewhere. Yeah, he's right there. Alright, CJ, I guess I'm ready, even though I don't know what I'm doing. I'm gonna end up losing. What up, Fashionita? Or, uh, Fashionetta. I, I refer- I said, um, Fashionista, I think, before. But he's saying Fashionista. Picked a name for your Anglersona yet? Anglersona? Ugh, CJ. So how about a challenge, C Sports style? Right now, win, and I'll make it ring, and talk you up on my stream. Plus my partners, and yeah, we already- we know that you said that last time. I want to see those fishing skills, and I just know my viewers do too. Here's how it'll go. I'll tell you what fish to catch, and you'll get fishing. But the hook is that it switches up each time. Gotta keep them guessing. Plus, I can't afford another cheating scandal. Right, that's the dealio. Are you ready for some sea sports action? Do you mean cheating as in already having the fish on me? Because uh, it's challenge time. Today, I want to showcase a small fry, so a surgeon fish-ish in size. Think you can catch three in a row? If you wow my viewers, I'll wow you with some serious bells. I'll buy those fish off you like that. You got a chum, it's time to dive in and school this challenge. Today, I want to see those small fry catch catching skills. Reel in three in a row. All surgeon fish ish or si so or s ah. surgeon ish. Oh my god, why can I not say this? Surgeon fish ish or so in size. As long as it's small, it counts. So if you spot a crawfish or a frog out there, bring it aboard. Okay, so I was gonna start just looking for surgeon fish, but. And don't go catching other sites fish or my subscribers will get mad. And there goes your streak. Oh, and don't let them slip off your hook either. That'll cut your streak too. Sorry, chat request. I know I know so many rules, but I gotta keep folks happy or my views drop. Now go catch something. So surgeon fish ish size, so we have to actually know what a surgeon fish size is. Which I think I have caught one before. And if you kid he said small fry, so I'm assuming like maybe like sea butterfly size. Sorry, I've gotten a surgeon fish before, but apparently not. So he's saying small fry, so I'm assuming he means yellow. Uh, I mean, um, small, 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 not medium. So there's nothing here. Now we have to look for a bunch of tiny spots. Actually, this is a pond-ish size, so doing this might actually. No, we're actually going to use the pond. And hope for tadpoles. Oh, that was a small one there. Okay, that's a big one. We don't want that. I'm trying to spook it away, but he's like in the middle. I want it out of here, yeah. We just wasted that, because it didn't give us a small one. Are you kidding me? Stop giving me these big ones. Oh my god. Okay, I'm not wasting anymore, because that's, that's a complete waste. I guess we'll just look around the village, or the, the island. So this is going to be harder than I thought, because I didn't think it was going to be like this. We had to catch a fish of a certain size. Oh, this is yellow balloon, so I think high chance for money here. Okay, that's a little guy there. Can I reach from here? I think this is a little. I think this counts. Yahoo! 
the horse mackerel. Okay, that's number one. Okay, cool. So it's those size fish. Now we know. Uh, that's a big guy. So we can't use that. So this is going to be a pain in the butt. Okay, what is that one there? Okay, that is medium, I think, that's in the river there, so we can't grab that. Okay, that one's extremely small. So I feel like that actually is too small. Even though he's saying small fry, I think there might be a step in between like tadpole size and medium fish. So I'm not going to risk it. He said he's going to be here until 5 a.m., but I don't know. What is this guy's problem? Got something for you, a lantern. That's weird. I found a bunch of these when I was cleaning house last night. I'm kind of superstitious about stuff like this, so enjoy. Hopefully they aren't haunted or anything. Uh, okay, you trying to haunt me, goose? I mean, they might make wisp spawn, so I'm actually kind of fine with that. Okay, so this is the medium, or not. This is like the small, but not extra small size. Okay, that's a medium. Spook this guy out of here. Okay, this is the small, but not too small, I think. Oh my god, we threw it over. I'm worried like about pulling it out and uh, him getting spooked by that. Okay, that should be perfect. Don't do it instantly. Oh my god, I almost lost that one. Okay, that's three in a row. Okay, cool. Okay, slightly easier than I thought, I guess. Now to walk 8,000 miles to the other side of the map, which again, like, I was complaining at the beginning of the stream, they should, like, there's so much interactable items, but they don't do too much. I wish they just add, like, there's such, like, detail on so many things, yet I feel like there's just some things that are lackluster, like, these vending machines here, I wish that this, the food one, could give you a snack that counted as, like, actual food power. And then this, maybe drinks, could give you movement speed so you could get around the island faster, but they don't do anything. They just, you just press it and they drop something. It makes a sound, but it doesn't do anything. This one, uh, the purple and then the orange drops, but you can't actually collect them. Fashionista picked a name for your English sona. Can you stop saying that? And everyone was a small fry? And that's gonna make the chat explode. So much for my sea sports challenge, with a fish. Photo op. Way to wreck that sea sports challenge. What a haul. Hey, wanna sell any of those fish? Cause I wanna buy. I got bills for nautical miles, so chime on in. Yes, please. Yeah, Fly Fisher, show me what you want to sell. 
I can sell any fish I have on me, nice. Oh, you got a whole school for me. All together, that'll be 8,000. Fine. Make my viewers happy, and I'll make you happy. Let's make it ring. So is it another challenge, or are you just gonna buy fish? Yeah, you put in an order for a collectible, I'll get you a super realistic model of your favorite fish. My partner is a total artist, and I can guarantee these models will be uh, make your neighbors jealous. Usually, he's all about models of bugs and stuff, but when he's got a fish to work from, his work is amazing. Just bring me three of the same kind of fish, and I'll get it going for you. All for the low, low price of nothing. Okay, that's fine. So does he buy fish at extra, like maybe like double or something or what? Because why would I sell fish to him instead of like at um, Nook's Cranny? I would assume CJ buys them at a extra interest or whatever. So this is a loach. Okay, let me, I'm gonna go ahead and look up. This loach's price on Google. Uh, let's see, loach selling price is 300 bells. 400 bells? Maybe 400 bells on New Horizons? So, CJ, what do you want for this? Okay, 600, so he pays, uh, 50% more? Assuming that New Horizons is 400 bells, because it says 300 bells here on the internet, but, or on Google, but it also says 400 bells next to that, and I think that's just the New Horizon price, so, yeah, he pays 50% more. So maybe I'll be doing some fishing tonight, then, since he's going to be here all night. Let me sell this tiger butterfly, let me go back into Mabel's sisters, or the Abel sisters. Stole the lantern that a goose gave me. What is this? Oh, the conditioner. I figure tiger butterfly is worth more than that. That's almost not worth it. Then I'll remember that I don't need to be catching them then. Okay, so what kind of lantern is this? Is it just a normal camping one? Yeah, it's just a normal camping one that everyone gets in the beginning. Okay, so we wanted... Maybe we can maybe grab these jeans. Actually, let's see what they look like. I'm gonna guess that's okay. Uh, I think I wanted these purple, the purple punk ones though. And we wanted what was it, this one? Or oh, that one's just pure black. And we wanted this one though. 
Even though I hate what the hair does, because it hides the eyebrows, so it makes our face look weird. What is this? How ridiculous does this look? I mean, I guess it looks kind of cool, but uh, I would still want to make sure I look like a grill, so... We can't even see the socks because of clothes that we have on. We need to actually... Can we remove these, please? Yeah. Ooh. I mean, that's not too bad. I might actually think about grabbing those. So we're going to grab those socks, I think. We wanted, we wanted these uh, moccasins. Ooh, that's not bad either. Maybe the red ones, too? I think we wanted these white punks as well. So we're gonna only buy one pair of shoes at a time, it looks like. Okay, so I think let's just grab everything we want out of that and then uh, grab this as well. Okay, now we need to go back in and get those punks, I think. I don't think I grabbed the white punks. I think I might just grab this plain black one as well. And why not? Just to be silly, I guess. Okay, so is that in my mail or in my house? Because if it's sent to the mail, usually stuff that gets sent to the mail takes like an entire day. Yeah, it's not in the mail. I swear, if this shows up tomorrow, I mean, I'm not going to be wearing it right now, but... Still. Okay, no, it looks like they sent it directly to my house. There's those jeans and then the, the uh, gothic headdresses we just got, so yeah, cool. Straight to the house. And they said that we can move our mailbox. Not that I know where I want to put this. Yeah, we can move our mailbox now. It was kind of okay where it was, but I don't know. Maybe we can... If I put it here, we won't be able to move freely through here, so... I don't know. Because if I could move everyone's mailbox, I would make like a, just a section for mailboxes. So it looks like these... Uh... The other houses don't have mailboxes. Though, I guess if you had a bunch of people living on your island in local multiplayer, you could move all your mailboxes together into a mailbox location, I guess. it around now or yeah we no we can't you have to get it the placement perfect on your first try you're not allowed to move it you're only allowed to pick it up and put it down all right i guess we'll just throw it on the other side
trying to figure out if I can put this uh, torch somewhere. Maybe back over there, though. Actually, I probably should be catching every fish I see now that uh, CJ's here. So I feel like that's something I should leave until nighttime when I'm just grinding off camera. Very weak. Oh, it's a red snapper, though. Red snappers are worth 2,500. So that's another, what, 1,250? Also, where is, is Joey still fishing? Joey was sick yesterday, and we gave him some medicine, and that made him better, so I guess he's okay since he was fishing. Okay, that kid isn't here anymore. Yeah, he's in his house. Wait, is this something? This is, um, Tammy's house, isn't it? This is Tammy's. I haven't seen her today. She's, like, wearing... Why'd she take her dress off? Uh, what's the latest? Did you know that I have a pet? Uh, no. Oh, I never told you? Her name is Tammy, and she's a horned dynastid. You realize that your name is Tammy Tammy, right? I caught her when she was fighting with another bug. I named her Tammy so no one will want to fight with her since she's so lovable. Alright, Tammy. Again, this that's like what you wear when you're naked, so I mean... Uh, we probably should just leave. I don't know, again, I don't know why she took off her like Chinese dress or whatever, but... I guess she's in, she is in her house, so I mean she has the right to walk around in her underwear. Okay, Joey isn't home, so where the heck is Joey? See this guy. That is way off, but sometimes they turn their view as soon as you try to pull it out and it screws everything up. Okay, stupid dab. Uh, let's actually canvas the river here. Are you seriously going to swerve away? I was going to say that was like perfect because it was going to go down river right to him, but no. I freaking swerved around it. Pretty weak. Black bass, yeah. Oh, there's Joey. He's still fishing. The 
Bon Jovi. Yeah. Do I still bait on me? I don't. Make some bait and fish on the pier. Probably grabbing clams, it's like the most violent thing you can do in Animal Crossing, I think. Other than maybe like whacking your villagers with your bug net to try to commit hate crimes to get them to leave your village, but... Because, I mean, you're digging up these clams and turning them to bait and then chumming the water with their, what supposed, I guess, remains. So, that's pretty graphic when you think about it. Because the fish, you just sell them off or put them in a museum. You're not really killing them. Same thing with the bugs and whatnot. But the clams apparently just don't get the same respect. Ooh. That looks like a decent sized fish back there. Hopefully it is a, uh, what could this be? A, I keep forgetting that fish's name. I keep calling it a gulpin, but that's not even anywhere close to what its name is. No, this isn't it. Oh, it's a freaking tire. Because I don't really have time to go back to our house to put this tire away, I'm just going to craft it into a tire chair and just slap it down somewhere. Because I'm going to have to craft the uh, bait right now anyways, so might as well. Okay, so how much bait? Do what is this? Oh, the wooden fish in quotations. Fish. Uh, there. Okay, we're gonna sit here for like six crafting animations. It's gonna be like ten minutes. Because the game can't freaking multi craft. You have to do everything one at a time. Also, look like there's something wrong with Joey back there. Because you see those bubbles? Those white, like, bubbles popping up there? I think that's Joey. I don't know if he's sleep or what something's wrong with Joey back there He's just sitting down for now. I, I figured maybe he was like sleepy, but I don't know. Oh, he was asleep. Why is my lasagna not in my pocket? I must have dozed off after I ate lunch. What the heck? Okay, so he was asleep, so. And she put her, uh, purple dress back on. She's also eating a sandwich. I'm pretty sure I took a picture of her doing that the other day. Alright, so let's slap these down. Hope for a... Um... 
Hello? Okay, well, what the heck was that? I was about to say, I thought I just wasted my bait. I've never seen that before. It's like it lagged. How's it gonna lag on a when we're playing single player? Stupid dab. I'm hoping for a big fish. It's not raining, so I think the Celiocanth doesn't spawn. But the the other one, the other big one should. But that is way off. God, that's not close either. Again, I hate that on this pier, they fish spawn right at the front. So you have to walk back on the pier to actually fish instead of standing on the edge to actually catch the fish. Like, it's so annoying that you have to do this. You have to walk forward, throw the bait, and then walk back and position yourself at the right angle. Okay, this is a big one, so some resistance, probably a sea bass. Yeah, a sea bass, because it wasn't that strong of a pull, but it's the strongest one you can get, I think, without it actually being something special. Okay, that's another one, so we got lucky, but odds are it's gonna just be another sea bass. Client, again, kind of strong, but not really, so sea bass, yeah. Here's a little guy. Very weak. And Jovi. Come on, big one. Medium. Can you get a red... Is there, are red snappers mediums? I don't remember. I keep, like, not... Cataloging that in my mind. I'm guessing this is probably around, or we can only hope that it's maybe like 20k. We didn't really get anything too crazy there. I feel like the red snapper is like the most expensive thing there, but I haven't really memorized any of the other fish's numbers. and. That is pretty much what I expected, 20k. Okay, that's not terrible, I guess, but... Meh. So that's probably what I will be doing tonight, is just grabbing clams, then chumming the water, and catching fish to sell the CJ. Oh yeah, but I think I actually realized what this over here is for. This back wall is so that if people visit you in multiplayer, they can actually grab your designs to wear. Because you can't give people your designs any other way. So if someone would want to wear something you've made, they would have to come to your store and grab it, which is what actually what I was I had saw before. This is how you would do it. So that people would open up their stores, and on Twitter they'd give you the code, here's the code to come to my island. 
and then you would come here and then buy their designs. So that's what that's for. So I probably should make some actual other clothes, fancy clothes. That aren't just for my character to throw up there. Okay, now I gotta figure out what we're doing. Is there anything I need to move around? I think everything's moved in the place it should be, except for the museum. But I don't know if I want to do that right now. Because there's no point, because we can't make stairs to get to where I want to put it. I think I do just want to save up for paying off Tom so we can get the last installment. Because I think I'm one way. Yeah, it probably would be, have just a bunch, I, though I have yet to see any lewd uh, clothing on Twitter yet. Like, I have not seen any yet. I haven't looked, but I haven't just seen it, like, scroll down. Like, if I looked, I would assume I would see some stuff, but, like, not looking, just scrolling down my feed, I haven't seen any lewds yet. But yeah, I think I want to pay off Tom first, so that we can get the final one. Because we're, we we're one step away from maxing the house out. I don't know what happens after that. Because I'm pretty sure all we can add now is a basement. And that's it. And then we will have to, like, never pay Tom again. So, I probably just want to do that. But I think the basement's probably going to cost two million something. Since the upstairs cost us a hundred, or a million two hundred. So, there's no way that... The basement doesn't cost two million something bells to install. Actually, we can actually talk to Joey now that he's not fishing. <laughs> okay, let's go throw this stuff away. Yeah, I mean, the smash stuff was almost immediately, is that's what uh, it resulted in. Ah, let's put all this stuff away. Okay, so... Uh, I don't really want to sit around and do, like, decorating my house right now. Let me actually see what I have on me. The extra skull thing. We could make the beach room a kitchen. How much kitchen stuff do we have? We have a microwave. I thought I had more stuff than this. Is it furniture then? We have a microwave, we have a I think industrial sink. We have a white freezer. Yeah, there's the utility sink. I swear I had more kitchen-based stuff than this. I guess these plates count, but not really. Not really what I'm actually looking for. Coffee grinder, don't care about. I probably have to go, oh wait. I don't think we checked um, the machine today. Probably should talk to Isabel too, see if we can get ratings yet, so we can get the uh, terraforming stuff. Okay, that's the same as before. Flamingo, what do you own? Not interested, we've got that already. Konnichiwa. This uh, t-shirt actually says Konnichiwa on it. Uh, misty, yeah. outdoor shorts, slip on. Nothing that amazing there. 
I don't think these change. I'm pretty sure these are supposed to change, but they, like, never do. Like, this is all the same. Well, not the fencing changes every day, but this is all the same stuff. Same thing here. But it's, like, so random so that they're not changing. Like, teacup ride? Like, it's so random that we have, like, this carnival uh, ride here. It's so weird that these don't change at all. And this doesn't change either. So that doesn't make any sense, but I don't know. I guess I do kind of want to grab these stalls as well. At some point to go put in the uh, shopping district, I guess. We're still not ready to even remotely get our island in check. All right, Isabel, I need to see if you can give me ratings yet. No, you cannot. I guess I have to add more stuff, but I mean, I can't really decorate the place I decorate the island the way I want until we have more money. Can, can you sit down? Like, what is happening here? Like, I don't know what the heck was happening there. So one last thing to do today. Now then, welcome to our dedicated uh, de dedication ceremony honoring San Limon's brand new tailors. Why is Megan over there by herself? Thank you. Thanks to everyone's tireless efforts, San Limon is developing wonderfully. Yes, yes. This time, we'll have some brief comments from Mabel and Sable, who will be running the tailor shop. Ladies, if you would be so kind. Thanks to everyone, we've been able to open such a lovely shop here. I'll work hard with my sister Sable to make a nice place for you all to visit, so be sure to stop by. And Sable is a woman of few words, I believe. Yes, please stop by. She's actually my favorite now, because I kind of like Mabel just the way I liked her, but uh, the way she looked. But Sable kind of has this, uh, I don't want to say emo thing going on, but like the half open eyes, the freckles. I think I kind of like Sable more than Mabel now. The shyness, I guess, timidness. Uh, Mabel, Sable, thank you both so much. Next, a few words from someone who made many valuable contributions to uh, so that the tailor shop could be built. Take it away, Lemonetta, our resident representative. Anything to add? Uh, woo. I always say woo because I don't really care. And just because I like that face. Take a picture every time. Yes, yes, indeed. Thanks to you for your heartfelt and encouraging sentiments there, Lemonetta. Everyone. Please get ready to join me in bringing the ceremony to a close. Also, those wishing to take a commemorative photo should get ready to press the capture button. Yes, well then. With hope from our continued growth and to celebrate San Limon's beautiful tailors. Hooray. Thank you all. Uh, this concludes our ceremony. Uh, please do take care of your... Take care of yourself on your way home. Okay, so I think we've officially done everything for today. Other than just straight up grind fish, even though we kind of did it a bit. Uh, we talked to Tammy, we talked to Goose, we talked to Muffy, we talked to Joey. Joey looked like he's going home. Oh, we haven't talked to Megan. Okay, she's making something, so we get something for free, so let's wait for her to finish. I think she's done? A peach rug. Just to see how I do at it. Do I have peaches to make a peach rug? Assuming that they're made out of peaches?
Okay, let's go ahead and check that out. Is in fact made out of peaches. Six peaches, which I do have. So I should have a ten stack of everything. Oranges, peaches, cherries. I think I'll just make a strafe run on the island or on the beach here to grab all these shells. Then maybe call it. Let's see, uh, I think I wanna. I think all the grinding I wanna do off camera anyway, so. No point to keep streaming. Just checking that. So I think I'm going to, again, call it there. Uh, so we've been going for two hours, not too bad. Uh, I am going to stop playing, though, but I will be back on at nighttime. Again, don't know if I'm going to be streaming that. Probably won't be, because I'm just going to be grinding. So, guys, uh, thanks for watching. Tune into the next stream. Like, subscribe, comment, and do. See ya.